Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. Me and Murphy are in the car. We're taking a little road trip. We are going from Boston to Cleveland to see my family. This is the longest road trip that I've ever taken, just me and Murphy. I've done this drive on my own before, but whenever I've taken work, Murphy with me in the past, Scott is usually here too. So I'm a little, nervous to see how this goes. Murphy gets kind of anxious in the car. He just never really calms down. So we typically have someone sit in the back seat with him and comfort him, make sure he's not sliding around. Obviously when it's just me, I can't do that. And so this is going to be kind of interesting. The longest road trip I've done, just me and him, has been from Pittsburgh to Cleveland, which is less than two hours. And the last time we did that, we drove through some heavy rain, ended up hydroplaning, my car stopped working for a couple minutes, and it was just not enjoyable whatsoever. So I'm hoping I can redeem myself. Normally, if when it's just me and Murphy, I would have him sit in the front seat, but since this is such a long drive, he's in the back seat, we got him a little back seat hammock so that hopefully he stays back there and hopefully he's a little bit more secure, but I'm going to bring you guys along. We're going to see how this goes. I'm going to take it nice and slow. I'm going to make a couple different stops. Usually we try to go with as few stops as possible, but I think I'm gonna stop at least every three hours. So that means I'll probably stop twice along the way and I'm just going to see how this goes and hopefully Murphy enjoys back there. <laughs> We are one hour in. Things are going pretty well so far. We just drove through really bad traffic, like standstill traffic, and I still have no idea why there was traffic. There wasn't a huge merge or construction or an accident. There was literally nothing, so that was fun, but Murphy seems to be doing all right. He's still, I don't know if you can see him, he's standing up and walking around back there. He's laid down a couple of times. I would love nothing more than for him to lay down, relax, and just sleep this entire ride. I actually took him for a run this morning before we left, hoping it would tire him out. So far, it doesn't seem to be working, but maybe after a little bit more time, he'll get comfortable and just, just please take a nap. That would be so, so nice. already getting a little bit sore. I can tell Murphy's also a little bit restless. He's been getting up on his hind legs to look out the back window and he definitely thought about making an escape attempt to come up here but I, I stopped that. He, he did lay down for quite a bit. I think he's relaxing at least a little but we're gonna go for one more hour and then take our first rest stop, stretch our legs. I've just been listening to podcasts. Luckily, since I've been working from home for so long, I have so many stockpiled up that I can listen to for this long drive, which is also going to be nice because this is a very quick trip home. I didn't mention that earlier, but I'm literally driving home today on Saturday, spending the day with my family tomorrow. We're having a little get together I think for two of my brothers have a birthday have birthdays and then my one sister is leaving to go to school in London soon so it's like a combined birthday going away celebration and then Monday is Labor Day so I don't have to work but that is going to be the day that I'm driving home so two full days of driving one day of seeing family got a lot of time in the car to listen to some podcasts <laughs> then realized I never hit record. So we made it to a rest stop, stretching our legs a little bit, letting Murphy get a drink of water. 
We were actually driving for more like three and a half hours than three because some of the rest stops are closed for food and restrooms because they're doing construction or something. But I'm actually not even going to be getting food here. I brought my own pizza that I'm gonna have for lunch while I drive. And part of the reason is because I don't wanna leave Murphy in the car for as long as it'll take me to go in and order food. I only wanna leave him long enough so I can run in and use the bathroom and come straight back out. But the other reason is that I've been doing this drive so much recently, just going to Cleveland to see my family and going to Pittsburgh to see Scott's family. And I'm getting a little tired of the fast food road trips. It's fun every once in a while. It's like a little adventure, but I'm, I'm kind of sick of it. So brought my own food. I wanna see and show you guys Murphy's little setup in the back seat. Here it is, his little hammock. He managed to unzip this while we were driving. There's a bit of dog hair all around, but not too much. You can kind of see some there. I'm honestly surprised there's any dog fur though because we brushed him so much before we left. We gave him a bath and yet he's still shedding. So I'm gonna let him walk around a little bit run in, go to the bathroom, and then get back on the road. Another hour down. We're about halfway, almost halfway. Been driving for like four hours, have five hours left. I'm starting to feel tired, and you know what? I just realized I feel like I should be further along in this drive than I am, and that's probably because we normally only stop one time when we do this drive, when Scott and I are both here and we have Murphy, but since I'm trying to stop more frequently for Murphy and we already had one stop, that's throwing me off because I stopped earlier than normal. I feel like I should be further along. Just put that together. That's really all I have to say. There's no other update than that. I'm Murphy agrees. <laughs> I lied, there was one more thing that I wanted to say in this update that I just remembered and I don't want to forget again, so I'm saying it now. The leaves are starting to change, which I guess makes sense since it's September, but I don't know, in my mind, I guess I wasn't ready for that or looking for that, but I'm noticing that a lot of these trees that I'm passing have leaves that are starting to change or occasionally there will be one that's already fully changed. We are officially in fall. Five hours down, four to go. We are still somewhere in New York. Someone just flew past me. We are still somewhere in New York. It takes like four or five hours to drive the entire width of the state of New York. So. That's where we're at. I'm probably gonna stop again in the next hour, hour and a half. Tired of driving, can't wait to get there. But the good news is, Murphy does seem pretty relaxed back there. He's been, he hasn't fallen asleep, but he's been laying down a lot, which is just reassuring to me because I was really worried that this ride would be stressful for him, but he seems to be doing okay. So that's where we are at with everything. All I gotta say, I'm gonna get back to my podcasts and keep on driving. Also, if you look at the map on 
the right there, you can see that Lake Erie is just that way. And so for this entire part of the drive, I pretty much like to look for Lake Erie. It's kind of like a little game to see how clearly you can see it, how long you can see it for. It's hard a lot of the times because there's a lot of trees, but there are a couple clearings where you can see the lake super easily and it is very nice and very pretty. So yeah, if I can get a shot of it, I'll show it to you guys, but otherwise you'll just have to take my word for it. It is so, so nice. Finally leaving New York and into Pennsylvania. cake or some kind of dessert or something which I'm kind of looking forward to I think I'm just hungry because it's dinner time right now and I didn't bring any more food because usually by this point in time I would be home by now but I left later than I usually would this morning and with taking the extra stops and taking extra time to walk Murphy around I didn't really take into account that I would be driving later which, when you think about it, makes sense. So I should have thought of that, but it's okay. One more hour, I, I think I can make it. I, I won't suffer from starvation or anything like that. We made it. Well, we're not quite there yet, but we're, we're almost there. So I'm counting that as we made it. And I know Murphy's gonna wanna get out of the car as soon as we pull into the driveway, so figured I would wrap all of this up here. I think overall this drive went very well. Honestly, I think Murphy, maybe I just wasn't paying attention or maybe I didn't realize, but Murphy's been doing very well back there as far as I can tell. I think he even did take a little snooze, which made me feel really good to know that he was relaxed enough to actually fall asleep. That is huge. I am a very paranoid and concerned dog mom at all times, so I'm always concerned about his stress levels and his anxiety, but I think I, think I did good this time. Definitely redeemed myself from the drive where we hydroplaned and were standing in the rain for like an hour, so that's all that I could have ever asked for. Anywho, I'm going to end this video here because the road trip has come to a close. So thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more from me. I have new videos every three days and I have some really exciting ones coming up. Scott and I are going on vacation very soon and I am planning to film a good amount of it. Probably not the whole time because I, I would don't want to be annoying but I want to have memories so there will be vacation videos coming up and you don't want to miss those so moral of the story subscribe you can also give me a follow on Instagram if you want more day-to-day -day content if you want a sneak peek at all the va vacation activities and footage you can get some there and I will see you guys in the next video bye